You've seen me in the dugout, on the fields, on the sidelines, and you've also seen what I've created in the kitchen, but now we're gonna show you how it's made. Hello everyone, I'm Jen Mueller, and welcome to I Cook, You Measure. So today, we're gonna start with a favorite for breakfast, some cinnamon rolls, but not the kind that take all day. No yeast required. So the first thing we're gonna do is get two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna put it into the bowl. A cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour. You can use your fingertips or the pastry blender to make it into a coarse meal. If you have not used a pastry cutter before, it's not sharp, but you don't want to press your fingers down too hard on that because you will end up cutting yourself. Have I done that before? Yeah, maybe. It only takes once, kids. You learn very quickly. Now we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon salt. When recipes call for salt, by the way, don't skip the salt. I don't care if you're trying to be healthy. I don't care if you have an aversion to salt. The salt isn't for a saltiness flavor. The salt helps to bring out the other flavors. We also have a tablespoon of sugar, so we're gonna add that in there. So there's just a little bit of a sweetness. And we have a quarter cup of milk. We're gonna use almost all the milk. In fact, what we need here is three tablespoons of milk. So I've got a tablespoon. We're just gonna measure dry ingredients, wet ingredients. So we've got the egg. I'm gonna quickly give this a whisk. Once we have the egg whisked and we have our dry ingredients together, we are going to combine them. Could I use a spatula? Yes. Would that require me to do more dishes? Yes. Some people have told me that doing dishes is the calming aspect of their day. I, I'm gonna strongly disagree with that and truly question what it is that they're doing with their lives. We have our dough. Now, we need to roll this, cut it, and put it into a pan. But remember that milk that we had left over? We need just a little bit of it right here. So you're gonna take your pastry brush. We're just gonna spread a little bit of milk over the top. We're looking for just enough like tack so that the cinnamon sugar filling sticks to it. There's my cinnamon sugar. Now we need to roll this up. You're gonna roll long sides together. Okay, from here, we need to cut it into five pieces. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, so I have five cinnamon rolls portioned out and I've got a baking pan. Make sure that you use a little cooking spray. We do want the cinnamon rolls actually touching the seam sides together. That way, when they cook, they don't open up and lose all the deliciousness. So we've got cinnamon rolls that are ready to go, 375, I usually go 15 minutes. So these now go in the oven. Aha, this is what we're looking for. We've got some golden brown on the edges. It's still lightly colored on the inside. Looks just like cinnamon rolls, right? Almost, we're still missing one key component. Here's what we've got though. The remaining part of the milk, and we've got three and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar. This is gonna be like a glaze. And we're just gonna pour it over the top to finish off the cinnamon rolls. And give us just a bit of sweetness. And there you go. Shortcut cinnamon buns. I'd say that's not bad. For 15 minutes of prep work and like 15 minutes in the oven, we've got so much cinnamon sugar on the inside. The glaze kind of balances it out. Still the perfect little sweet treat for an off day brunch. So stay tuned next time to see who joins me, see what we make and the conversations that come out of it. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. You can watch the full episode of I Cook, You Measure on YouTube. Enjoy free delivery and exclusive perks with Fresh Pass at Safeway. Start free for 30 days.